Now, Gwede, you are going to stand here and take the picture like this. <laughs> Follow you. And all of you, as you take the picture, you're going to come and stand behind your pastor. Okay. And no, no, stand here first. We're going to take you. You're going to dedicate the building. Mm. Father, we dedicate this building before you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And we thank you that such a time as this, you brought this man and his wife to come and see this ground. The ground is broken. Yes, God. Emmanuel, God is with us. Yes. Emmanuel, God is with us. Yes. And God is saying to us, there's nothing too difficult for us. It doesn't take too much to build a church here. And make it a place of worship. Yes, Lord. Our pastor is now has a branch. And soon it has a branch. So he is called and as a bishop mm. of our nation, mm. Africa, of Jesus. kingdom builders. Mm. This is a confirmation, mm. apostolic mantle yes. Yes. is on you. Yes. And as we team together, trying to churches in Africa, now, Lord, I pray that you release unction, yes, anointing, yes, yes, power, yes, yes, grace, yes, 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 faith, yes, yes, fiducial yes, faith yes, for Christ's yes, life. That you yes, say, yes, I have, we have a church yes, in Africa, yes, our homeland, yes, yes, by the road street. Yes, and when they pass to see it, there will be a sign yes, yes, the priest fellowship. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And the practical believers with Mission Africa Kingdom yes, Brothers. This is yes, your church. Yes. And God will help you yes, to take it the next level. Yes. Through your help and support, we'll have a pastor yes. and us for you. Yes. Yes. We'll send somebody to come and be with them. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 The question is, are you willing to take the offer? Yes. You want to take the offer from the Lord. The Lord said, you build this church. There's nothing to do with the pastor. All of you, come and stand behind your pastor. God, I thank you. Millennials are coming because they're coming for somebody who's real, somebody who's practical, somebody who can tell them the truth. Hey, because it's the truth that sets them free. Hallelujah. I'm telling you something, Emmanuel. Praise. Y'all better give God the glory in here. Hey, hey, you, hey. God says you've been on a 10 year assignment. Who am I talking to? The whole church. You've been on a 10 year assignment. A 10-year assignment. He says a 10-year assignment. And now with divine order, everything is lining up. Woo! Hey! Huh? God, I see, I see stairs. And the stairs are stairs of elevation. But with every stair, there's a stone. And God says for every stone that was thrown at you, He's going to make it a stepping stone to elevate you. God, manual praise, y'all about to walk high. Y'all about to get so high that if you ain't got faith, you can't live here. Hey, God, you know, the higher you go, the air gets thinner. And God says, I'm raising up a people of faith. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Divine elevation. Oh, God, I thank you. It's 10 years, and the Lord said you have passed the test. Just like 9 is the number of the Holy Spirit, 10 is the number of testing. 10 is the number of testing. Laban's wages were changed 10 times. Uh, 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 Isaac, uh, 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 Eleazar tested Rebecca, Isaac's wife, with 10 camels. 10 lepers were tested, and one came back and gave glory to God. Do I need to keep going? Ten is all throughout the Bible, and I know offerings coming up, and you should know that tithing is a test of your heart. <laughs> Hallelujah. And that's why it's under attack by false doctrine and teaching, because he's testing your heart. Are you listening to me? And I want you, because you have passed the test. God said you have passed the test. You have taught the true doctrine. You have not taught a tainted message. The word of the Lord is going forth. Souls are being saved. Lives are being changed. People are being baptized. Families are being healed. Marriages are being raised up. And there's another generation of ministers in this house. And that is a testament that the, the hand of the Lord is with you. It is upon you. He says, I'm walking with you. And the Lord told me to tell you this, man and woman of God, as I take my seat, because one is greater is coming after me. He said, 
the manifestation of your ministry is getting ready to match your message. The manifestation of your ministry is getting ready to match your message because the message, listen to me, this is why you always pay attention to the message. The Bible says, how can they hear in whom they have not heard? Or believe in whom they have not heard? How can you call on whom you not believe? And how can they hear without what? A preacher. And God sends a preacher with a message to change mindsets, and mindsets bring manifestations. And listen to me, get ready for another level of insight and prophetic and apostolic revelation, and God's going to give you a message that's going to shift mindsets. And the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. He changes your mind before he changes your manifestation. And listen, God is going to make this ministry match the message. You've been, some things you've been frustrated over. Some things only you two have talked about. You're always talking faith and grace here, but sometimes there's been some frustrations. And God says, I'm getting ready to make the manifestation match the message. Amen. God is not waiting on you. He simply wants to take you with him. God is saying today, come go with me. Come go with me. Imagine your praise. Come go with me. He's giving you the mantle. He's giving you the set order. But now it's time to praise him. It's time, Emmanuel Praise Fellowship, to live up, that, live up to that name. I know you can do it. God knows you can do it. But you got to know you can do it. You got to know that you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. You got to know God's got your back shown up, shown up. Come on. Oh, he's worthy of praise. He's worthy of glory. How long has he taken care of you? Some of you are sitting here right now, and if it hadn't been for the grace of God, had it not been for the mercy of God, you wouldn't even be here tonight. And he's watched you. He's had your back. He could have busted you out a long time ago. And it's still a secret between you and God. He kept you under wraps. He ain't exposed you. You sitting here looking all nice. And we were one step away from hell. And he stepped in by grace and mercy. And said, come go with me. 